live from the Starfield International Ballroom of the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Welcome to the 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards. And now, your host for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Hello. And hello. Welcome to the 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles. It's going to be a night of partying and heavy drinking. Or as Charlie Sheen calls it, breakfast. Wow. Whoa. So, let's get this straight. What he did was, he, uh, he picked up a porn star, um, paid her to have dinner with him, introduced her to his ex-wife, as you do, uh, uh, went to a hotel, uh, got, got drunk, got naked, trashed the place while she was locked in a cupboard. And uh, that was a Monday. What, what did he do New Year's Eve? Anyway, welcome. The Golden Globes is a celebration of the best in TV and movies over the last year, voted for by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. It was a big year for 3D movies, Toy Story, Despicable Me, Tron. Seems like everything this year was three-dimensional. Except the characters in The Tourist. Um, I, I feel bad about that joke. I, no, no, I'll tell you why. I'm jumping on the bandwagon, because I haven't even seen The Tourist. Who has? Um, but, no, it must be good, because it's nominated. So shut up, OK? And I'd like to quash this ridiculous rumour going around that the only reason the tourist was nominated was so the Hollywood Foreign Press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They also accepted bribes. Let's... No. All that happened was some of them were taken to see Cher in concert. How the hell is that a bribe? Really? Do you want to go and see Cher? No. Why not? Because it's not 1975. <laughs> there were a lot of big films that didn't get nominated this year. Nothing for Sex in the City 2. Um, no, I was sure the Golden Globe for special effects would go to the team that airbrushed that poster. Um, <laughs> well, great job. Girls, we know how old you are. I saw one of you in an episode of Bonanza. Also not nominated, I love you Philip Morris, um, Jim, Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor, two heterosexual actors pretending to be gay. So the complete opposite of some famous Scientologist then. Um, what? what? Probably. My lawyers helped me with the wording of that joke. <laughs> They're not here. Okay. <laughs> There's been some great new TV drama this year, like Boardwalk Empire and The Walking Dead. So, uh, yeah. Talking of The Walking Dead, congratulations to Hugh Hefner, who, uh, who's getting married at the age of 84 to 24-year-old beauty, Crystal Harris. Um, when she was asked why she was marrying him, she said, because he lied about his age. He told me he was 94. Oh, come on. Um, don't worry. Hold out and just, just don't look at it when you touch it. That's done. <laughs> I warned them. Um, one of the biggest events in TV this year was the finale of Lost, one of my favourites, and uh, all the questions were answered, yeah. Um, I have to say, though, it was quite a complicated finale. I'm not sure I totally understood it all, but from what I can make out, I'm pretty sure the fat one ate them all. Uh, I, I think... Should we get on with it? Our first presenter 
is beautiful, talented, and Jewish, apparently. <laughs> Mel Gibson told me that. He's obsessed. Um, <laughs> please welcome Scarlett Johansson. You know our next presenter from such films as Hudson Hawk, Look Who's Talking, Mercury Rising, <laughs> Color of Night, Fifth Element, yeah. Heart's War. Please welcome Ashton Kutcher's dad, Bruce Willis. <laughs> okay. What can I say about our next two presenters? The first is an actor, producer, writer and director whose movies have grossed over three and a half billion dollars at the box office. He's won two Academy Awards and three Golden Globes for his powerful and varied performances starring in such films as Philadelphia, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Apollo 13 and Saving Private Ryan. The other is Tim Allen. Well, you know, like, like many of you, we recall back when Ricky Gervais was a slightly chubby but very kind co comedian. Yeah. Neither of which is he now. <laughs> <laughs>